So let's go ahead and begin in child's pose, taking your forehead to the mat, knees wide. And just come into your breath and feel the floor beneath you. And just bring your awareness inward into your body from your skin in. That ujjayi breath, breathing in through your nose and exhaling through your nose. And hearing that deep whisper sound as you do. Allow yourself to get really present here and let go of anything that may have happened to you already during your day. Maybe start going through a mental checklist of things you need to take care of. Just push it away for this hour. Now go ahead. I'm going to come up to hands and knees, hands shoulder width apart, and take your knees hip width apart. And we're going to push that right leg back and really ground those toes down into the earth and press that heel back into kind of like you're trying to press it toward that back wall, wherever you are out in space. Whatever's behind you, you try to press that heel back. Soften between those shoulder blades, looking straight down at your mat. Continuing to breathe. And go ahead and pull that knee back. Even with the other one, and then pressing that left heel back. And you make a stretch in that calf. Continuing to breathe. And then bring that knee back. Knees are straight under those hips. Hands are stacked under our shoulders. And we're going to do a few cat cows. So pulling that belly button in and up toward the ceiling. Inhaling. And then on the exhale, pressing that belly button down. Letting that crown of the head come up toward the sky or the ceiling, wherever you may be. And let's reverse that a few times. Go ahead and do a few on your own. Cat cows. Really stretching that spine up toward the sky. And then softening and reversing. My words are just suggestions. If you need to be doing something else during some of these poses, please modify anything. And then we're going to come back to neutral spine. We're going to take that left hand to the center of the mat and reach up with that right hand, keeping that chin tucked in so you don't hurt your neck. And then pulling that right shoulder down to the mat and reaching that left hand out straight, threading the needle through. And breathing. Have to breathe in yoga. And then pressing, pulling that left hand back, pressing yourself back up taking that right hand to the center of the mat, reaching that left hand up, trying to keep your hips square with each other, keeping that chin tucked in. And 
bring that left shoulder down to the mat, extend that right arm out. Good, now pulling that right hand back, pressing yourself back up into neutral spine on hands and knees. And we're gonna tuck those toes under. We're gonna press our hips up to the sky for downward facing dog. If you need to modify this, you can be in puppy pose or in child's pose or whatever works for your body. Pressing that floor away from you, spreading those fingers out, checking in with that pointer finger, seeing if you're at 12 o'clock and making an L shape with that thumb and pointer finger. Lifting those 10 toes up off the mat and putting them back down. Really grounding down through the earth with your hands and with your feet. Relaxing that neck, trying not to hold a bunch of tension. You can pedal out those legs if you want here. Whatever movements feel good to you. This first down dog of the day. I like to open my hips up, so I'm going to do that. Whatever feels good to you. Really noticing if you're holding tension in your face or your neck. And taking a deep breath in. Exhaling, taking your eyes between your hands and walking those feet towards your hands. Ragdoll forward fold. Grabbing those elbows. Letting that neck relax, maybe bending those knees so that you can get your Chest resting on the front of those thighs. And rock back and forth here. Now releasing the hands to the mat. Take your hands up to your hips. Point the elbows to the back of the room. Bend your knees. I'm going to come up in one piece. Reaching up, looking up, extended mountain pose, and pulling the hands through heart center, setting an intention for your practice today. It can be a word or a feeling, or some way you want to feel. I'm going to put on some music, just some gentle music, and we'll start with some sun salutations. queued up and it it's not queued up anymore but that happens communications here we go okay all right here we go extended mountain pose reach up look up exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift this first one, we're just going to step back to a high plank. Hold it for just a moment. If you need to be on your knees, you can do that. Pressing those heels to the back of the room, pulling that belly button in and up, looking straight down at that mat. Now hold it for just a moment. And go ahead and lower all the way down, keeping those elbows in. Now, pulling those Shoulders up, low cobra. And letting that go. Now pressing through those palms, you can go back up to high plank or onto your hands and knees. And then pressing back to downward facing dogs. Pressing those hips up to the sky. 
Breathing, we're gonna stay here for a few breaths. Just get into your body, get out of your head. If you wanna stay really present, open your eyes up, look at the back of your mat when you're in downward dog. Inhale. Exhale, eyes forward, tiptoe those feet to those hands. Halfway lift and bow. All right, here we go. Root down, rise up, extended mountain pose. Look up, bow, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, really flat back, pulling those shoulders back. Step back, high plank. This time we can drop down to a low plank. So keeping those elbows tucked in or all the way down and then reversing to upward facing dog or cobra or low cobra and then to downward facing dog. I'm gonna start moving through it a little faster now. Deep breath in. Exhale, eyes forward, step, hop, or float to the front of your mat. Halfway lift and bow. All right, one more time. Root down, rise up, extended mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra or low cobra to downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, eyes forward. Get your feet, bring them to your hands. Halfway lift and bow. All right, we're going to change it up. Here we go. Bend your knees, reach those arms up, chair pose. Look down, see if you can see those toes, and if you can't, sit back a little further so you can. Reaching those arms up by your ears. Feels good. One inch lower. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. High to low plank or chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. I'm gonna turn to the side here, pressing that floor away. I'm gonna take both feet to the center of my mat, take that right foot up to the sky, control it, pull it through, set it next to that right thumb, spin that back foot flat, rise up, warrior one. There's a pull between that front leg and that back leg, like you're trying to wrinkle that mat. You're pinning that back pinky toe into the mat. And your gaze, your drishti is just on a soft point. And you feel strong because you're in warrior pose. Inhale, exhale, hands to mat, high to low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Shake out that neck if you need to. Take both feet to the center of the mat. Take that left foot up to the sky. Pull it through. Set it next to that left thumb. Spin that back foot flat. Rise up, warrior one. Not more than 90 degrees in that front leg. Grounding down through all four corners of that front foot and really grounding down through that pinky toe on that back foot. Good. Really pulling in from that center line and going out. Good, hands to mat, high to low plank. Upward facing dog. 
to downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, eyes forward. Get those feet to those hands. Halfway lift and bow. All right, we're gonna sit back for chair pose again. Chair pose. Reach those arms up, maybe spin them in, spin the pinkies in. Sit back a little farther. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Shoulders are pulled back, hands can be on your shins or feet. And chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Don't let those feet sickle out. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Take that right foot to the sky. Control it, pull it through. Rise up, warrior one. Knit those front ribs together, pulling that belly button in and up, challenging yourself. Excellent, hands to mat, high to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. One breath. Exhale, take that left foot up to the sky. Control, pull it through. Rise up, warrior one. Knitting those front ribs together. Good. A little further down, sink a little further. Arms a little higher. Hands to mat, high to low plank. Upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Okay, I'm gonna breathe here for a moment. Okay, now we're gonna take both feet to the center of the mat. Take that right foot up to the sky. Bend that upper knee and just open that hip up. Get a really good stretch through that hip. Okay, now straighten that leg back out. We're gonna pull that right knee to that left elbow and we're gonna shoot it out and we're gonna open up for rock star. Because we're rock stars today. Modify anything you need to. All right, pulling both hands back to the mat, high plank, setting that left hand down, spinning those feet to the side, reaching up for side plank. I don't know about you, but I'm working. Get those hips a little higher, maybe float that leg up. Good. Hands to mat, high plank. Low plank. Up dog. Down dog. Take a moment to breathe. Couple breaths here. And taking both feet to the center of the mat. Left foot up to the sky. Open that hip up. Straightening that leg back out, pulling that left knee to that right elbow, shooting that leg through, opening up for rock star. Try to get those hips a little higher. And hands to the mat, high plank, low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. This is kind of a rest and recovery position as well as a strength one. So 
take a moment to breathe here. You can drop to child's pose at any time. All right, taking that right foot up to the sky, pulling it through, setting it next to that right thumb, coming up high on the ball of that left foot, crescent lunge. Knit those front ribs together. I'm gonna switch around so I'm facing you here. I'm switching legs so we're on the same leg. Pulling the hands through heart center, crescent twist. Really shining that hamstring up toward the sky, stacking your lungs, maybe opening those arms. You can drop this hand if you want. If you're on a tightrope, you can heel toe those feet out a little. Maybe taking a half bind. Good. Now, getting your balance, taking that left arm up and around, landing in warrior two. Good. Now, taking that right forearm to that right thigh, reaching up for extended side angle. On the inhale, contract. On the exhale, open up and see if there's opportunity for more. Good. Releasing the hands to the mat. High plank. We know what this is. Low plank. Upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Okay, take a breath here. Exhale. We're going to take that left foot to the sky. Pull it through. Set up for crescent lunge. Up high on the ball of that right foot. I'm on my left because I'm mirroring you. Knit those front ribs together. Now taking the hands through heart center, crescent twist. Maybe opening those arms up. Good, now taking that right arm up, around, landing in warrior two. Check in with that back hand, make sure it didn't float away on you. And if there's a tug of war between the front and the back, the back's gonna win a little. Good, now taking that left forearm to that left thigh, opening up for extended side angle. Nice. Maybe seeing if there's room as you exhale to reach a little further. Great, hands to mat, high to low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Relax that neck, shake it out if you need to. Eyes forward, take those feet to your hands. Halfway lift and bow. All right, bend your knees, sit back, reach up, chair pose. Sit down a little more, pull the hands through heart center. We're gonna take a prayer twist to the right. Check in with your knees, see if they moved out of alignment, and if they did, put them back where they're supposed to be, and we're twisting from the waist. Maybe opening those arms. Good, exhale, forward fold. Heel toe those feet apart. Grab those big toes with those peace fingers. Pull the crown of that head toward the mat. Hips to the sky. 
Make sure you're breathing. Halfway lift and bow. He'll turn his feet back together a bit. Sit back, chair pose. Reaching up, pulling the hands through heart center, prayer twist to the left. Maybe opening those arms up. Sit a little deeper. And forward fold, heel to the feet out. Gorilla, palms to toes. Halfway lift and bow. All right, you have your choice. You do a Malasana squat. I'm gonna do a squat here. Or you can do crow pose, do a crow. Hands like you're gonna do a plank, feet together, knees wide. Looking forward. So those feet come up. Good, and stepping back to high plank. I'm gonna hold that just for a second because it feels kind of good, pressing those heels to the back of the room. Belly button in, softening between the shoulder blades. And low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Take your eyes forward. Bring your feet to your hands. Halfway lift, flat back, and bow. Root down, rise up, extended mountain pose. Let's see how good our balance is today. Okay, taking that right arm under, that right leg over, for eagle. Really sink down into that left leg. If you fall out of it, just start over. Bring those elbows up equal with your shoulders. And it's like you have one leg pinning them together. All right, Victoria, reaching up, taking that left arm under, left leg over, bending into that right knee. Really pulling from that center line. And Reach up, inhale, exhale. Let's do it again. Right arm under, right leg over. Bringing those elbows up. Good. Reaching up, looking up. And left arm under, left leg over. Good. And reaching up, taking your hands to your hips, bringing that right knee up. And you can grab that knee, or you can grab your big toe. Bring it out. Good. And then we're gonna bring that leg back forward, reaching up, get that toe up a little higher, and sweeping back for airplane. 
Look out ahead of you. Don't look at the floor in front of you. And make you fall over. Good. Pressing up through those shoulders, through those hands. And bring that foot back down to meet the other one. Bring those hands to your hips. And take that left knee up. You grab that knee or you grab the big toe. Extend that leg to the side. Extend that opposite arm. This hip flexor is always really tight on me. Yoga helps. Okay, bringing that left leg forward, sweeping back for airplane. Really pressing up through those backs of those hands, through those shoulders, energy all the way to your heel. Good, bringing both feet together. And let's do dancer pose. So taking that left hand up, right hand back with your thumb up, getting really stable in that left foot. Grab that foot or ankle. And if you can, kick with that leg a little, come up a little higher. If you have a wall and want to use it, go for it. Good. Releasing your back bends or back strokes. Taking that right arm up, getting stable in that right leg. Grab that back left foot. And you can stop there, or you can try to go up a little higher. Good. Coming back to center. One more balancing. Let's do tree pose. So taking that right foot either below or above that knee, just not on your knee. Get stable. Decide what kind of tree you're gonna to be today and grow some branches. Very good. You can look up and maybe lean back a little bit. Sometimes it works out, sometimes not so well. And bringing the hands back to your heart center. Let's do it with the left foot now, below or above that knee. And get stable, and grow some branches. and bringing the hands back to heart center. All right, let's do some grounding. Here we go. Reach up, look up, extended mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, pinning those shoulders to your back. High low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Pressing into your palms, really pressing that floor away, taking those heels a little closer to the floor. Now taking that right foot up to the sky, pull it through, set it next to that right thumb, open up, warrior two, knit those front ribs together, 
pull that right knee straight, tip forward, reach for that ankle or the floor, or triangle. On the inhale, contract. On the exhale, open up. Good, now let that left arm pull you up. Take your hands to your hips. Turn both feet to the side of the room. Heel toe them out a little bit. You wanna be a little pigeon toe here. And we're gonna take the crown of our head to the floor. So here we go. Release your hands to the mat. And if you wanna go up into a headstand or a handstand, you can do that. If you are up, go ahead and come down. And now taking both hands to your hips, come up the flat back, then all the way up. Step that right foot straight to the front of the room, left foot up and in. And we're gonna take our hands to either knuckles or namaste or however you wanna do your hands. We're gonna fold over that right leg. Now releasing the hands to the mat, taking that left foot inside that right hand, or left hand inside that right foot, I should say, and reaching up with that right hand. Twisting triangle. Okay, releasing the hands to the mat, high plank, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. One breath here, exhale, take that left foot up to the sky, pull it through, set it down, open up, warrior two. Pulling those shoulders into your back, Straightening that left knee. Triangle, reaching down, opening up. See if you can reach back maybe a little more. Keep that chin tucked in so you don't hurt your neck. Good, let that right arm pull you up. You'll turn those feet out a little. Take your hands, clasp them behind your back. Open up that chest, and we're gonna take that crown of the head to the floor, and we're gonna bring our shoulders up. Bring those hands up behind you. If you have a headstand or a handstand here you wanna do, you can do that. Really opening those shoulders up though, if you are, with your hands clasped behind you. All right, releasing your hands to the mat, taking your hands to your hips. If you're up, come down. And we're gonna come up to flat back, then all the way up. Left foot toward the front of the room, right foot up and in and folding over that left leg. Taking that right hand inside that left foot, twisting triangle, reaching up with that left hand toward the sky, keeping your chin tucked. Don't lock out that left knee. It's a balance between ease, and work. So try easy. Good. Hands to mat. I do a little plank. Upward facing dog. It's a downward facing dog. All right. See how much closer those heels can get to the floor. Shake out that neck. 
Bend those knees a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna press with our toes. We're gonna come up to a high plank. And we're gonna go all the way down to the floor. We made it to the floor. Rest your cheek to the side. You earned it. We'll be doing locusts next, so you can bring your hands next to your hips. Okay, here we go. Looking down at the mat, taking your hands, your palms facing the mat, we're gonna press up. Press through those hips, root down to rise up. Locust. And let that go. Cheek to the other side. Bend your knees. I'm going to do floor bow. If you want to do locust again, you can. So pull those feet to your glutes. Flex those feet. And here we go. Root down and rise up through those hips. Floor bow. Kick to get higher. And let that go. Windshield wiper those legs out. Good. Okay. Hands right by your rib cage. Press up to Cobra. Just get a really good stretch there. Press back to your knees, and we're just going to walk our knees all the way through our hands. We go onto our back for bridge. So feet hip width apart. We're going to press up through our heels and come up for bridge pose. You can clasp your hands under you if you want. Maybe a little higher. And go ahead and release. All right. We're going to do wheel one time if you're with me on it, or you can do bridge again. So we're going to do wheel and we're going to hold it for a bit. So here we go. Reversing the hands by your ears, pushing up. And 20 seconds, good job. All right, bring it back down. Take your feet together, knees together. Let those knees fall open. One hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Supta Baddha Konasana. Good work. Excellent. Okay, now taking those knees back together, pulling them towards your chest, grabbing the outside or inside of your feet, wherever feels good to you. Happy baby. So if your sacrum's way high up in the sky, pull it back down toward the mat. A really good stretch here. Okay, good. Now taking both feet up to the sky, taking that, the hands behind the neck, right foot down, right above the mat. We're gonna go for eight crunches to that left leg. And here we go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, release. And switch legs, left foot down toward the mat, and here we go, up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one. Okay, good. Now, bend the knees, yogi bicycles. We're gonna do 20 on our own, and go. Good. Okay, rest for just a moment. Hands on knees, and we're gonna rock back and forth three times and end in both toes, or you'll boss them now. Here we go, all right, three times. And both toes. You can be here, you can reach up. Makes me shaky. Good, okay, pull those knees in. Sit up nice and tall. And get yourself back to downward facing dog. Uh, really press into those palms. Now taking that right foot up to the sky. Pull it through for half pigeon. Squaring that right leg with the front of the mat, straightening out that back leg and then folding over. If you want to do this on your back, you can do that. Getting a really good stretch and trying to release any tension you're holding if you're holding it in your shoulders or your face. And releasing that hip, rolling back on it. However, you want to get into half pigeon on the left. I'm gonna go back into downward dog. I'm gonna take my left foot up and pull it through, just like I did on the other side. Or you can be on your back again, if you were there. Deep breaths here. And go ahead and roll back on that hip, swinging both legs in front of you. Taking your hands up to the ceiling, feet in front of you. Bringing that chest toward those legs. And releasing, coming up. Go ahead and go onto your back. Pull that right knee up to your chest. Pull it across your body. For a supine twist. It feels so great. And releasing that leg. Extending that right leg, pulling that left knee into your chest, pulling across your body, and breathing. And pulling that left leg back to center, knees up, feet together, 
One let those knees fall open for Supta Baddha Konasana. One hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. And finally, extending your legs and landing in Shavasana. I'm gonna turn the lights down. Go ahead and let the awareness come back to your body. Take any movements that you need. And when you feel ready, bring your knees to your chest and roll to a comfortable side. And finally, keeping your eyes closed, find your way up to a seated position. Bring your hands to heart center. Honoring yourself for the work your body just did for you. And taking your thumbs to forehead center. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful Wednesday. Namaste.